I'm Brian Rycroft, a Happy Science Lecturer based in Sydney, Australia. Thank you for joining me today. This is a short video for those who have recently joined us in foreign countries where there's not yet any Happy Science Temple or any ministers to support them. There have been many teachings given in Happy Science in the past 30 years or so, so newcomers often ask us, where should we start? What should we do? So today I'd like to share a fundamental teaching of Happy Science that's a great starting point for everyone. It's a teaching about freeing yourself from the suffering of taking love. Basically, we have four principles of happiness in Happy Science. Love, wisdom, self-reflection and progress. We call this the fourfold path. And love comes first. It means to give love to others without expecting anything in return. But how can we practice this? Let's watch Master Kawa's lecture, The Power to Spread Love. Minasama, ayo hito ni atayu koto ni wa ichi en mo iranai ndesu yo. Sore wa anata ga kokoro no naka de omoi no hokou se yo kaer to ikoto nan desu. Hito kara monae ba kouhuku da to omou kangae gata o arata mete kudasai. 自分が神よりくださった愛が宿って生きている存在であるということを知ってくださいすでに与えられているんですすべてのものはすでに与えられているんです生きようとするんでなく自分が今生かされているんだということを知っていただきたいんです。生かされているんですよ。数多くの力によって生かされているんです。本日ここに集まるにあたっても、皆様は独力で来られたと思っているかもしれないけれども、この幕張メッセの地に来るために、実は目に見えぬ数多くの人々の力が積み重なって、皆さんがここに今日、いることができるんだと私は思いますそうした生かされている自分ということに気がつかなければ愛を与えるというところに思い至らないんですよ生かされているから感謝の心が出てくる生かされているから法恩の心が出てくるんですだからあなたも生かされているから他の苦しんでいる人たち困っている人たち、弱っている人たち、こういう人たちに自分ができることは何か、それを考えてほしいんです。それぞれの人の年齢も、性別も、職業も、収入も、社会的な立場もおそらく違うでしょう。しかしそれを超えて、皆様方の立場で、皆様方の名前で、でできるることがあるはずですそれが私がいくら演題で皆さんの前に話しても自分自身ではできないことをあなた方の一人一人は成し遂げることができるんですその可能性を持っていますあなた方の家庭を光で灯すことこれは私よりもあなた方一人一人がもっと強い可能性を持っているんです。兄弟で憎み合っているなら憎むことをやめ和解しもっと良くなる方法はないか考えられませんかもし夫婦でいさがいがあって苦しんでいるなら得られないことばかりを考えるのではなくて今まで自分の伴侶から与えられた愛の数々を一度思い出してみてはいかがでしょうか相手に愛された数々のことをすでに忘れているのではないでしょうかそれを忘れて現在ただいまに自分が与えられていないことばかりを悔いてはいないでしょうか
であるならば自分に与えられたことの多さを知った時に自分をまた人に与えられる存在であるということに気づかねばならないということです。In the beginning, we were taught that giving love to others doesn't cost us anything. All we have to do is change the direction of the thoughts in our mind. What this means is that we have to change our thinking that receiving from others equals happiness. So, receiving means receiving appreciation from others or the love that we think we deserve from others. Usually, we feel unhappy. When our expectations are not met. And we call this suffering from taking love. True love that is taught in happy science is love that gives, and it is given without any expectation of return. The starting point of that is gratitude. It's feeling thankful for everything we've received. You know the old saying, count your blessings. We've received so much in life, even our own lives have been given, and there have been many people who have supported us throughout our lives. Perhaps it's very easy to forget them. So, the first step is to really think about everything you have received. Once you can start to feel this gratitude, that's when you can start giving back without any expectation of reward. For example, Perhaps you're having trouble at work, you have a difficult boss that you can't get along with, and you think that he or she doesn't appreciate your work. Well, to change your perspective means thinking what you have done for him or her to become successful in their position. Or say you're having trouble in a relationship with your partner. Maybe you're noticing their faults. Or you think they're not living up to your expectation? Well, to change your perspective in that case would be to recall all the kind things they've done for you in the past and to think about their good points or the strengths of their character and think about their happiness, not just about yourself. Think about what you can do for them to become happier. That is what is love that gives. So, love that gives is given freely without any expectation of reward, and it starts from gratitude. So, please try to practice this teaching, whatever your circumstances may be, and I'm sure you'll become much happier. This is taught in the book The Laws of Happiness. Please try to get yourself a copy, it's a very precious book. Thank you very much for joining today. Goodbye.